Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you this uh, vampire makeup tutorial for Halloween. So if you'd like to know how I created it, stick around and watch the video till the end. first step is going to be foundation. We have to make our face as white as possible as it's a vampire. So I do, I am going to use one of those. Basically it's um, a water cream makeup in white. That's not really any branded makeup uh, foundation, but you can always use um, your usual foundation, but I think a few shades lighter would be the best because you really want to look like a um, pale white skin um, vampire. So let's try what's this about. I think I will just have to apply it to my face, all over my face, as if I'm applying foundation. This is really white. Actually, it uh, feels nice. As if it's a uh, makeup foundation. It looks really white from in the beginning, but then somehow I managed to blend it with my beauty blender, so it kind of goes away. So I need to be more... I need to add another layer after, I guess. Okay. All right, so the face base for a vampire look is done. Now let's uh, continue with, I think, my eyes to create a bit of, um, bit of depth. I will add um, eyeshadow in my crease. So I think I will be using Meet Matte Trimony. So this is by The Balm. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes because it's really easy to use. It's really easy to mix with other palettes and other colors. I do use it uh, sometimes just for a daily look. This time I'm going to be, use, be using Matte Lopez shade. And let's add it to my crease. Yeah, it, as you can see, it adds a bit of depth to my eye straight away. You don't even need much. We'll do the same on my second eye. It's going well, I do look quite scary. <laughs> yeah, I think Halloween makeup shouldn't be anything about perfect. I think it should be as messy as you can make it happen. Next one, I will be using actually Matt Ahmed. Let's do this. Okay. It's very dark. Okay. Hmm, very scary. Now let's add in our outer corner.
to create this smoky scary look a bit below on the lower lash eyelash A bit of red color. I'll be using uh, this red. It's not very bright red. I'm afraid I will have to use a few layers here. Second eye, and I will add a bit of thread on my lower la eyelash. Actually, just to mix it, mix it up, create more blended look. Next, I think we will finish off eyes. This is Makeup Forever pencil in the shade Whatever Black. Um, so this one is pretty good for waterproof uh, makeup and it's good for your eyelid um, basically waterline because it, it stays quite well doesn't go away and stays all night so I would re recommend for Halloween makeup uh, this makeup for a pencil so I will just go through my waterline and underline it to make it more scary Now I'm going to use uh, eyeliner, wet and wild. Uh, so this one is also waterproof liquid eyeliner. It's one of my favorite ones. It stays really well and for long. I'll just shake it and apply it on my upper lid. I think that looks good. Okay, so now I will finish my eyes off with my favorite mascara from Maybelline. This one is um, in uh, the shade black. Now, if you do have um, fake eyelashes, that would be a great addition. They can add this more intense um, look, more scary, more heavy eyes. So you could try, with, try fake eyelashes here too. The next step is to contour our face with Fenty Beauty stick, contour stick. It's called Matchsticks uh, and it's in the shade of Amber 01. So we just add a line here just to 
Enter the face. Make it more scary. Um, let me blend it a little bit. Next step would be to have a bit of art. I think I will experiment with a very thin brush and the black face paint. adds a bit a bit of drama to my eyes it makes it more scary the more burgundy the more blood like lipstick shade you have the better the one I'm using today is Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink so this one stays a very 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 long time like literally you can eat you can drink it won't go away so this is a good choice it's in shade 30 and it's called Unrivaled I will try this however if you like something more red more deep you can also also look into other shades from this brand but the lipstick stays for long Lipstick is just optional actually, you could also skip it and just wear white um, foundation to make your lips look very pale. So this is just if you like to have some beauty, uh, beauty product on your lips and be a bit, bit more like a pretty vampire, then you could use a lipstick, but if not um, a white really white um, foundation will, will do just fine. The fake blood came as part of this um, Halloween makeup set and it's um, in small small bottles so you can use one and if you if you need you can use more but it's, it's very efficient because you can save it for next year even. Here you go, some fake blood. It's really enough it's very small but it's enough for like I think one time it's really enough you can save the rest either for the actual party or the second party or even next year they're sealed really well okay I think that that should be fine actually if you want you can continue on your neck that's another thing you could also add this um, cream face paint whatever you have on your neck so you kind of have the finished look together with your costume whatever you wear in here and then you can also add some blood licking on down your neck it's also an option just be careful it's really messy <laughs> once you do that you need to have some tissues around so be careful not to have your fake blood all over the place and the next one, and I believe it's the final step actually because I do look quite scary, um, is the actually <laughs> the fake vampire teeth. 
How cute. Okay, it does work now. But you need to keep an eye on it. So it's not easy to talk once you have it in. So I might sound a bit weird. Let's try a second one. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I mean, these are not the most comfortable <laughs> vampire cheese. I'm not sure I will keep them because I do struggle to talk once I have them. So I'd imagine if you do go to the party, you want something what really sticks in your mouth and it doesn't fall off because these ones are not very comfortable. They really fall off, they don't stick or anything. I would imagine that you want to buy some fake teeth which actually stay in place. <laughs> That's it guys, uh, this was my Halloween vampire makeup tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't, don't forget to press uh, like button and do subscribe to my channel to see more of the Halloween makeup videos which are coming. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy Halloween this year and have a great day. Bye!